<laughs> Miguel, Democratic of the Year. Hey. This is that night of Columbus and Chico P. Mass. Democratic Party just um, gathered to celebrate Miguel's achievement. Hi Derek, nice meeting you. <laughs> this is Juan. Nice to meet you. And this is uh, Natasha. Hi. How are you? Good and you. Good. <laughs> We're doing this. Yes. This is our next treasurer, Deb Goldberg. I'm here because Deb, like all of our Democratic candidates, understands how important it is to represent and govern over the entire state. And when elected treasurer, that's what she'll do. Uh, it's great to be here in Chicopee. Deb Kozakowski promised me an apple pie on Facebook last night, so uh, I always like coming out here. But we've got nine days left until our election, and we need all the help we can get. We're going canvassing in Chicopee today, right after this. I know some folks are going out, but up and down the ticket, field is where we're going to win this. Uh, we invest as Democrats heavily in the field, and we need everybody out there today and for the next nine days to make sure we bring this home for Deb and for all the Democrats running. So thank you guys so much for having me here this morning, and I'm looking forward to working with you for the next nine days and for the next four years after that. Thank you. But Eric gets it. I mean, when I talk to Eric, he knows about some of the things that really do count. He knows about it. A very special thank you to Michael Pease for everything that you've done on my behalf and for Chicopee, of course, uh, for years and years. So thank you, Michael, very, very much. And uh, I, I don't want to take up too much time. Uh, uh, Candy, is a, a, uh, who's our campaign chair, is a veteran breakfast organizer herself, and I know she likes to keep things on a tight schedule, so I'll, I'll just quickly say we have a great, great team in Chicopee. I couldn't do it uh, without Derek, of course, who helped all summer, and Joel, and, uh, and Jeff, and so many others. Miguel, of course, congratulations. You've been with us from the very beginning, and we're nine days out, nine days away. And from the very beginning, as Michael said, we've been focused in this campaign on new ideas, on the new things that we need to do to invest in our communities, to invest in Chicopee, to create more jobs. And we know what we have to do. We know what the challenges are. We need to invest in a high-speed rail line between Boston and Springfield. We've got Senator Ben Downey here, and we're going to work together on getting that done. It's going to help Pittsfield, too. So we need to get on, on east-west rail line going between Boston and Springfield. We need to invest in high-tech manufacturing. We know that's the traditional strength in our area here in Chicopee for generations, putting people back. Acknowledges um, the prior Chicopee Democrat of the Year. I just want to take a moment to acknowledge two committees that I truly uh, skip, and they're here. It's West Springfield Committee. So could we please clap? <laughs> the prior Chicopee City Democratic um, Democrat of the Year recipients. Um, first with Kenneth Lemansky. Um, if present, you may uh, stand or wave for the uh, recent recipients. So first, Kenneth Lemansky. Uh, second, Francis LaPointe. Thomas Gill. <laughs> Doris Selby. Joseph Chessie Jr. Louis Santos III. Robert Zajic. Mary Beth Piniak Costello, Michael uh, Michael Bissonette, um, Deborah Kozakowski, <laughs> Rosemary Piniak, Laura McCarthy, Sabina Parker, William Sutherland, um, Timothy Sullivan, Alfred Kendall. <laughs> Carol Harms, John Avery, my father William Miles Johnson III, <laughs> Mike Keith, <laughs> Carolyn Fitzgerald, <laughs> and 
George Balakir. Thank you, Theodora. At this time, I have the pleasure to ask Jose Tassaro to come forward to do the presentation for this year's Democratic Year. Good morning, everyone. It is indeed a pleasure and honor for me to be here in the great city of Chicopee uh, this morning, enjoying a, a fantastic breakfast. Uh, and I also just want to congratulate the uh, Chicopee City Committee for the great job they're doing in maintaining the ideals and values of the Democratic Party alive here in the great city of Chicopee. Uh, particularly to Mike Pease, Malin Johnson, a, a chair and vice chair for the great work that they're, that they're doing as my good friend E. Henry Twiggs is doing in our city of, of Springfield. Uh, as you know, I recently won the Democratic primary uh, for the 9th Hamlet District. <laughs> this, this includes a small slice of, of Chicopee, uh, Ward 5A. And, uh, and frankly, I could not have won uh, that election without the support of members of the Chicopee Democratic City Committee, uh, particularly my good friend uh, Miguel uh, Roldan Castro uh, and Al Kendall and, uh, and the voters of the of the uh, Ninth District 5A who, uh, who came out for me that day. So thank you, thank you very much. But you know, I'm here to introduce again my friend uh, Miguel. I've actually uh, only known Miguel for for one year uh, when he got involved in uh, in, in my uh, in my election. Uh, but in that one year, I've known to, to, in Rome to respect him and to admire him uh, because how unselfish he is with his time uh, working not only for the city of, of, of Chicopee and the Democratic Party, uh, but for people of color, people who are, who are disabled, in all communities that really require a voice. And Miguel has lent that voice to them. Uh, so it is, it's been a, a great relationship. I look forward to uh, working with him more and more in the future. And obviously, uh, this is a very well-deserved, a very well-deserved uh, honor and award for him. Just a little bit about Miguel, I do have a little biography here on him, uh, if you'll you know, indulge me. Miguel Caldan Castro, Sr., was born in Caguas, Puerto Rico. He has two sons, ages 26 and 11. He's also a proud grandfather of a five-year-old grandson. Miguel has been married for 25 years to Socorro Alonso de Jordan. Miguel graduated from high school in Puerto Rico, uh, and he studied business management at New Haven Community College. At a very early age, Miguel uh, worked in many campaigns in, in Puerto Rico and helped develop youth voters in his hometown of Caguas, Puerto Rico. He devoted his time to assist in local and gubernatorial campaigns for El Partido Nuevo Burguesista of Puerto Rico, that's basically the Democratic Party in Puerto Rico. Uh, Miguel was also very much involved in organizing uh, to make Puerto Rico the 51st state of, uh, of the United States. After relocating to Chicopee, Massachusetts over seven years ago, Miguel continued to devote his time helping people of color, elders, and disabled individuals have an equal opportunity and to reduce discrimination. He dedicated many hours to the mayoral campaign of former Chicopee Mayor Mike Bissonnet. Miguel has also been elected many times to be on a dem for Democratic conventions. Miguel was appointed as a zoning board appeals member and as a member of the Commission of Disabled for Chicopee by, by the Chicopee City Council. Miguel has worked for the campaigns to like Jose Tosado, muchas gracias. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Eric Lusser as, as state senator, Anthony Golini for district attorney, and he is also working with Martha Copley's campaign for governor. Miguel is well known throughout the city of Chicopee and by its many leaders. Miguel strongly believes in advocating and creating laws that protect abandoned children, fair housing, and, and fairness in the second sexual orientation and protection for elders and disabled. Miguel's desire is to create a Latino minority chambers in Chicopee 
uh, Miguel is a great example to the Hispanic community and to all communities in the, in the city of Chicopee and the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Miguel's dedication and commitment in helping touch many individuals, Miguel truly, truly deserves this honor as being the Chicopee Democratic City Committee Award winner for the year 2014. Congratulations. Felicidades. night uh, my son and I know a couple of you saw it on Facebook he, um, he wanted to be a part of a campaign he wanted to be able to help his father and so he was playing on this little video game and he made a billboard in Minecraft which nobody will ever see but it's probably the coolest uh, most important piece of support that I've received and, and the reason why I bring that up is um, because Miguel gets what I get and what everybody in this room gets is that none of us succeed alone and that if we didn't have the help of people like Miguel and, and, and Senator Welch, who was helping me on my campaign, and Gail was helping me on my campaign, and Ben and Eric and all of us together, uh, we wouldn't be anywhere near as successful as we are. So I just want to say congratulations to Miguel. And I have a citation from the House of Representatives uh, congratulating you on being named the 2014 Democrat, Democrat of the Year. And uh, best wishes from the Speaker of the House, Robert A. DeLeo, and myself, and including Joe. Wow. Biden.
Margaret uh, and Liz come up on behalf of, or one of you on behalf of uh, Congressman Cato. Good morning. Morning. The congressman uh, sends his regrets that he could not be in Chicopee this morning. Um, I am here to present a letter of congratulations to Mr. Roldan Castro. I write to congratulate you on being designated as the Chicopee Democrat of the Year at the annual Chicopee Democratic City Committee Breakfast. This prestigious award recognizes your significant personal contributions to our community. You have been selected for a well-deserved honor because of your unwavering democratic values and dedicated service to the city of Chicopee. Local leaders like you make our community stronger. You have joined a very distinguished group in being selected for this recognition. I wish you much continued success. Sincerely, Richard E. Neal, House of Representatives. And uh, also, uh, Everett Hanford from Senator Warren's office, if you could come forward, please. Good morning, Chickabee. Good morning. <laughs> uh, so I bring you greetings on behalf of your United States Senator Elizabeth Warren. Uh, she, unfortunately, she could not be here, Miguel, and to you, Senator, uh, but she does send her regards. But I do have a citation uh, for you, Miguel, and it reads as such. I would like to join your friends and family and the rest of the Chickabee Democratic Committee in congratulating you for being selected as the 2014 Democrat of the Year. Today we take time to celebrate your accomplishments and to acknowledge your dedication to public service and your community. Your efforts on behalf of the Democratic, I'm sorry, your efforts on behalf of the Democratic Party have helped shape the political landscape of the area. Thank you for all that you do. On behalf of the United States Senate, I offer my sincere congratulations and best wishes for the future. Signed, Elizabeth Warren. <laughs> and I also have a, a proclamation for the city of Chippy from the mayor's office, and uh, he also wanted to recognize you for all you do for the city on commissions and on boards, and, and your civic activity as well as your uh, activity as Democrat of the Year. And also want to uh, thank you for your services as a member of the Ch Chippy Democratic City Committee and as an affirmative action officer. That's from the uh, mayor's office. Okay, so Miguel, if you would like to say a few words. <laughs> <laughs> this is the hardest part. Of it. I really, I really thank you for everybody to be here. And this year is really, really important. We have a tough race for the governor. And um, one of the things I would like to say is, when we get out of here, we have to think what we want for the future. I look at my grandson, and I know a lot of people here say, um, <coughs> running for grandpa, I want to run for 2024 for being the president of the United States. I want you to run for my campaign. Well, I'll make sure I have to stay alive for all those years. <laughs> the next thing we have to do is we have to think about the future of our children. We have to think about the future of the elderly. You know, we can say we're okay right now, we are fine right now, but we have to think about when we get older. So we want to think the right way, we have to concentrate on this race. This is the top of race in Massachusetts. And I would like to say we need to make it one, um, Martha Cockley our next governor of Massachusetts. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, next up we'd like to do another award, and this one we're a little sorry to see her leave, but we know she's on for a great opportunity and she's going to have a great future in the uh, Hampton County. But uh, we want to recognize as the Distinguished Democratic uh, of the Award and Distinguished Citizen Award, Senator Gail Kenderis. So I'll ask Gail to be on.
Gail's been so active in Chigabee. She's helped Chigabee yes. out so much. Whenever there's That's an issue lady. that comes up, we know we can count on her, Senator Welch, and uh, they'll Thank take you. care of us. Uh, Thank you. She's been active as an attorney. She's been active as a mother, uh, as, a, uh, as a female out, out there helping us all out and uh, doing so many great things for Chigabee and, and representing us so well in the state and Senate. So uh, we're very glad to have Gail with us and, and recognize her as a distinguished uh, citizen. Of so I'd like to uh, present her with a little token that uh, Madeline had put together for us. It's uh, the Distinguished Democrat of the Year 2014 State Senator Gail D. Kenderis, presented by the JB Democratic City Committee. I thought I was getting We don't want Gail to do it to herself. <laughs> <laughs> but on behalf of the state senate, Senator Welch. Gail looks like she just won the prom. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's always my prom. I take a bad vote and I turn it to Carrie. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the wrong. Uh, I looked down and the citation was signed by Gail, so I said she can't sign she it. Can't right. sign it. <laughs> All right. So, but uh, it's, it's, it's a great privilege and an honor to, to be able to work with uh, such a great public servant like uh, Gail Kandera, day in and day out. It's going to be, uh, it's, it's kind of bittersweet to, to see uh, Gail moving on, but we know she's on to bigger and better things uh, at the Register of Probate's office, and she's going to do great things there, not only for um, Western Massachusetts, but I really think for the whole state. And she's a strong advocate for the judicial system and a strong advocate for, um, you know, the courthouse here in Western Massachusetts and uh, a strong voice that, uh, that uh, we certainly need going forward. So as a colleague and as a friend and uh, as I stand here with my uh, good friend, uh, Senator Ben Downing as well, we do have a state, uh, state Senate citation. Um, Gail, I don't know if you've ever seen one of these before. <laughs> be it known to Senator Gail in uh, recognition of being named the Democrat of Distinction here in Chicopee. And this is signed by myself, Don Hummison, as well, uh, William Welch, and of course, Terry Murray, Thank uh, the you. Senate President. Thank Congratulations, Gail. <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank you.